crafty friends it's audra monk the crafty yogi and welcome to the crafty corner and your yoga for crafters video um so i know i'm getting erratic on these and i've got to work on uh getting them regular because i feel they're so so important and i'm so happy to share um this with you so i'm standing up as you can see so this is a standing up uh video are we going to yeah we'll just do one thing it's a standing up video so you're going to need almost no space just a little little bit of space so you can take a step forward that's about it um and i know i don't think you can see my feet but that is okay i should have maybe framed this a hair better hold on i'm gonna come forward hello friends okay let's try that all right that's slightly better but anyway it'll work out okay so what you need to do is stand in what in yoga we call tadasana or mountain pose so we want the feet about hip distance apart. We don't want to have the toes out or the toes in. As best you can for you, you want neutral feet, okay? Um, and then we should check that the ankles are under the knees and the knees are under the hips. So if you tend to um, sway forward or stick your butt out a little bit, we gotta find that place in the middle, so find that. And a lot of times what I do is I think about, I take my toes, whether they're in shoes or socks or barefoot, I reach my toes out and then they find the earth. And then I feel the inner edge of my foot and the outer edge of my foot. And then when that starts to happen, the thighs start to engage, the belly pulls in, and then up here we're gonna bring the shoulders up and down and back. Oh, it feels so good. So that could be your yoga practice. Seriously, 100%. Sometimes we just need to stand evenly. Okay, but next, hip flexors. This front where your pockets are, if you have pockets, um, this front part of the hips, it gets very tight because what do we do all day? We sit, right? So you're going to take one of those legs from its mountain pose and step it forward a half or a full length or three fourths length of your foot. Okay. Next, roll your shoulders down and back again because they always move. Now press your hips forward. Whatever leg is in front, take that same arm up and then bend the elbow over the head, other hand to the hip and we breathe here. It sounds so funny, but it's so important. We just breathe. So if it's comfortable, you're gonna breathe in and out through the nose. So inhale and exhale. And let that repeat. And you might even exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth and say And one more time. Good. So. Feel that little stretch we've been giving to the hip flexor. Release the arm, step it back. And I totally like got my pocket all discombobulated there. All right, so from neutral, we're gonna do the other side. So mountain pose, step a foot forward somewhere within a foot's distance of your other foot. Press your hips forward now. Good, whatever leg is up, bring that arm up. Breathe three breaths here. And you're gonna feel it in both hips. And don't worry, we're gonna do this one more time with the different arm placement. And one more. Okay, gently release. Come back to your tenas in your mountain pose. Roll the shoulders. All right, your first foot goes back forward again. And now your opposite arm, so we're still pressing the pelvis forward, but maybe looking for more stretch in the back leg than the front leg. So now the back leg's arm goes up and over. And I find this one is a deeper stretch, okay? This one is a deeper stretch, but the other one warmed us up. So we're getting a stretch here, the whole front side body. And this hand could go on your hip, this hand could hang down, you could gesture and talk with it, because that's apparently how I work. I'm gonna put it on my hip so I won't move it. Good, pressing forward. Now, one more thing. Think about the leg that's back, right? That heel, press it down into the earth. Press your hips forward a little bit more. Take one more breath. Good, release the arm, step the foot back. All right, here we go, last one. Step your foot forward, keep them in line, so don't let it go in front. That's a, that's a fun, oh, we'll do that maybe next week. That's a fun balance pose I like. Roll your shoulders down and back, press your hips forward. So try to feel more stretch in the back hip. All right, bring the arm up, bring it across the head, and then breathe here. Good, breathing gently. 
Maybe think about pressing your back heel down into the earth. You might feel your glute work a little bit more back there, and that's okay. Oh, breathing here. And then gently release, step the foot back. All right, one more time, Tadasana Mountain Pose. So feet hip distance apart. Legs start to drop energy from the earth. Roll the shoulders down and back, lift the heart, tuck the chin. And this time rest with your palms forward. Soften the eyes, maybe look towards the floor or look towards the wall in front of you. So you're standing super tall. And one little tip, the taller, upright you stand, the younger you look. Mm -hmm. Just saying. And then if you've softened or closed the eyes, open them and then give everything a shake. And there you go. All right, so I am ready to plan and create all afternoon for the rest of my um, celebration final countdown and planning for my classes for next month. If you need any tips or tricks with yoga, um, let me know. If you need any crafting help, let me know. I'm here for you. And I'll see you next time. Stay crafty.